finally, the county has come to discuss Nork's lead issue. So, <laughs> uh, last week, two weeks, I've been kind of harping at the county. Hey, DiVincenzo, Nork needs some help here. Um, I've been on, uh, gotten at freeholder Wayne Richardson. So finally the county has stepped up and we have this article coming to us from insider, New Jersey, Murphy, Baraka and others powwow in the midst of lead contamination panic. This is written by Max Pizarro, Pizarro, who is a guy that I am familiar with and whose work that I really respect. So, you know, shout out to him and, um, insider, New Jersey. That's, uh, mayor Baraka sitting with governor Murphy. They just got out of a briefing a short time ago. Governor Phil Murphy, North Mayor Ross Baraka, Ross Baraka, as his county executive Joe DiVincenzo, and an assortment of elected officials as they try to address the crisis of contaminated lead lines in Brick City and the surrounding area. There are 18,000 homes with lead service lines, 15,000 of them in the affected area where the corrosion inhibitor that coats the lead pipes so the lead doesn't leak stopped working. Authorities have introduced a new inhibitor, but it will take months to start working. In addition, the mayor has bonded $75 million to replace the lead service lines that are not owned by the city. A program started this spring. We have over 700 homes changed so far. It's going to take 10 years to change all of the lines at this rate, but that's the permanent fix, Deputy Mayor Rahman Mohammed told Insider New Jersey. Filters and bottled water are the temporary fixes until the inhibitors start working. The governor and mayor convened this morning's meeting to develop a battle plan and head off ensuing area panic in the aftermath of the Environmental Protection Agency's announced findings of dangerous lead levels in the lines of three houses. For starters, they want wider testing and a big big data. Come on, Max. You're, you're better than this, brother. Big data, not big date. Big data sampling. We have to give that a chance, Assemblyman Ralph Caputo, who was in attendance at the briefing, told Insider New Jersey. I was impressed that everyone seems to be concentrated on this. The mayor, governor, and county executive are focused, and the next days are not time for panic, but for more information. Everyone seems to be engaged. Caputo said he disagrees with his colleague, Assemblyman Jamal Holly, who wants a National Guard presence to help confront the problem. Jay, I, I got nothing but love for Jamal Holly, but that that's a little uh, that's a little over the line, my man. <laughs> I want it addressed and I want it fixed. But as far as like bringing in the National Guard and declaring a state of emergency, eh, to take it easy, bro. Against the backdrop of Barack's severe public criticism of Donald of President Donald J. Trump, because you know that's where they have to take it, a presidential candidacy by Senator and former North Mayor Cory Booker with pincushion potential. And madcap pushing and shoving between Murphy and much of the rest of the Democratic Party establishment, suspicious about, suspicions abound about the political motivations behind making Baraka look bad at this particular moment. The mayor is one of Murphy's most obvious and important political allies in a state where many elected Democrats have turned against the governor in the name of polishing, uh, polishing relations with an establishment dominated by the brain trust of South Jersey power broker George Nocross III, to which I will reply, they're just replacing one establishment with the other. What Murphy represents is the national establishment, whereas Norcross is more homegrown. I hate to put it to you like that, but he is. Norcross, of course, has his own troubles as he attempts to dig out from under an economic development authority scandal. A perception of weakness in popular local leader Baraka, who beat a Norcross-connected candidate, uh, Shavar Mer Jeffries, uh, to first become mayor in 2014, conceivably splashes on Murphy and Murphy's future statewide designs. At the moment, Murphy and the suddenly national headline beset Matt Baraka still appear, appear firmly wielded together amid intra-party jeers mostly directed at Murphy. Because Murphy isn't Jersey. Murphy isn't one of us. But that's something to be hashed out at the, um, at the ballot box. Now... <clears throat> Basically, this is spinning wheels, okay? They just popped up to say that they're doing something about it. And, I, hey, I will appreciate something over nothing. And what we were getting before was nothing. Now, what my suggestion is how we can actually fix this and fix it rather expediently is all these big wigs, big money elected officials who have absolutely no problem raising copious amounts of cash for the campaign funds. They should hold some type of black tie gala or event 
fundraiser for the lead service pipelines to get them done as quickly as possible, not in the next 10 years. That's a little ridiculous. And, is, and honestly, shoot, go to uh, GoFundMe, you know, crowdfund the shit if you have to. But <laughs> as far as um, solutions, no, there's no solutions in here. This is just primarily and no offense to Max at all. I got nothing but love for you, Max P. But this was primarily just a show that, yeah, the county is the county cares about this, too. So, you know, uh, as as much as I like to rag on them, I will say kudos to the county for eventually popping up. And now that we've gotten this baby step, let's take the next baby step as far as getting the people, the residents and the constituents of Nork, getting them taken care of and making sure that their families are good. And there is some points to be made about the, the timing and it really only being three houses where the severity was um, found there should be a lot more data mining but at the same time the water issue is not one that's new or one that is just you know popped up out of nowhere this is something that's been taking place slowly over the last 20 some change years and it goes it, it goes as far back as Gibson as far as you know not giving two dams about the residents and the people of the area and the allowing it to get this bad in the dam in the first place right or wrong so with that being said we're going to bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike go ahead do that too i ain't scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube <laughs> bit you they're definitely uh you know eh, I, I can't rely on them i have to rely more on you than on them and speak let me know what do you think in the comments is uh, you think that the county's here to really get something done or are they here just to say that like yeah we're here we're doing it you know so <laughs> i'd love to know what you think in the comments until the next one.